Hello. Sorry about the problems I've had this morning. So, ah, yes, we're, it seems to be working now. That's great. I'll run the class for one hour. Um, it's a bit late starting. Sorry about that. Occasionally that happens. So, I'll run the class for an hour. Hope you can join me. We're going to look at collocations today. I have a page ready. I'll share my screen and show you and post the link as well. So, here we go, I hope. Collocations, uh, what are they? Well, they're the way that words go together, really, that's all. The way we put the words together. Hi there, thank you for waiting for me, that's great. So, uh, Merv, are you there? Yes. Yes, good. Sorry I'm a bit late today. Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Oh yes, I have a lot of friends from Turkey. Very nice country with lots of coast, like Britain. Lots of coastal areas. Do you live by the sea? Uh, yes. Yes, I live quite close to the sea. How close to the sea do do you live? Mm, uh, I live in Bursa. You know. I don't quite know that place. No, is it right on the coast? Is it absolutely on the coast by the beach? Ah, no. It's a bit uh, not so close to the beach. So maybe some miles from the beach. Some quite some distance. Okay. Um, do you know what a collocation is? Do you know this word, collocation? Hello? Ah, I've lost you, haven't I? So, collocation. I hope you can come back and try to read with me to do this exercise. So, collocations are choosing the right word. So, we, we will read the text to get a kind of general idea. And then, we're going to try and predict the words which are in the gaps there. Well, I'm going to move the screen down and see if anybody can come and read it for me. Who is here to read? So, for example, we have a gap here. Let me make it bigger. Bigger. There we are. We have... The first gap has been done for us. Maybe not that big. That's better, I think. The first gap, zero, has been done for us with the letter C. So there are the choices here. Money, investment, finance or banking. So um, that one's been done for us. So few people in the world of high finance. So not the world of high money, that doesn't really sound great. The world of high investment the world of high finance. So few people in the world of high finance had heard of Mark Colombo. There was no, no what? No, and then I have to try to look for the gaps here, the possibilities. I'm looking for a choice of these words here. Dealer, salesman, merchant, or retailer. So, we seem to have some technical problems today on the Hangouts. I, we've, I've lost you there. I hope you can come back in. 
Hi, uh, Nugent, hi there. Hello, are you on the mic? Do you have the mic there? Nugent? Hello? Well, I hope somebody can come and join the room. Sorry about the technical problems today. So please come and join me. Try this exercise. Well, I will read the text through. I'll read the text through and see if we can think about the text. Maybe we can do the, the word gaps in the verbling chat for this first exercise. So, um, I'm going to read it and then we'll go back and look at the, the gap words. So, few people in the world of high finance, we know that one, few people in the world of high finance had heard of Mark Colombo. There was no why they should have done. He was a mere foreign exchange at the Lloyds Bank in Lugano, Switzerland. But in 1974, Colombo bumped the headlines around the world, leaving blank money experts open-mouthed in amazement. Lloyd's blump that irregularities had cost the bank a bump three thirty two million pounds. What had the 28-year-old Colombo been bump to? And how had he with it? Colombo had been watching the world's leading bump change their values on the foreign exchange markets. He decided to buy 34 million US dollars with Swiss francs in three months time. If, as he pump, it turned out that the dollar was blank less when the time came to settle, he would make a handsome profit. But the dollar's value did not bump. It went up and Colombo lost one million pounds. Consequently, he increased his stake and went for blank of nothing. Without Lloyd's blump a thing, he set up transactions totaling four billion, four point five eight billion, so that's four thousand five hundred and eighty million in just nine months. Wow. At first, he was betting that the dollar would lose value. It did not. Blank. He switched to gambling that it would go on rising. It did not. So he got everything wrong, didn't he? He got everything wrong. And we need to find the words. So um, you need to load the page, really. Please have a look at the options here, below the text here. We've got different option words. And we need to try and fill those in, actually. I have to go a bit smaller to fit them all on because it doesn't render too well. There we are. There's the text and we're trying to find the missing words and we've got the first one there. So, let's try and do the second one. New Jenna, are you on the mic at all? Could you speak to me?
No? Some problem there. So, uh, number one is invest investment. Let's try that. There was no investment why they should have done. What do you think, guys? Do you think that's a good word to go there? Hi, Rose. Are you on the mic there? Hello? Well, we do have problems this morning. I don't know why. Disconnections and all kinds. Sometimes it goes that way, but uh, not usually. Rose? Rose? Hi. Some kind of um, buzzing noise, but you're trying to get your microphone on here. Marfood, I don't think that uh, that's the right word. I think that that's not the right word. Let's have a look for that word again. So I think we need an alternative for that one. An alternative word. So uh, let's have a look at that sentence. There was no something why they should have done. There was no something why they should have done. So, so I think that we ought to look for a word. Which? What's the choice there? Rose, you're really um, battling away with the microphone there, but it's making all sorts of noise. I don't know what's going on. Here. Well, yeah, let's have a look at the choice and see uh, an expression there. No, why they should have done. I'm trying to speak about why. So let's have a look at the word there. Rose, I'm going to uh, just mute you for a while while you're resting there. I don't know what you're doing. Cameras on the floor. Your, your mics. I don't know what you're doing. So, um, can somebody come and join me now? Let's have a look at the option for number one. We've got. I think what I'll do is I shall move the page to here, and then I can see the choices at the same time. I can flick between the choices. So. Here on this page, I'm going to go to the choices. Here we are. So I can switch like this. So look, on the screen, um, number one, there was no cause, purpose, basis, reason. All of these words are quite similar in a way. So which one of them will we go for in number one? Let's have a look. Here they are. Here are the words. I'd like somebody to come and read them, read those in the text and see which ones sound good. Well, she's muted right now. But Rose, when you think you've sorted the mic, then just unmute yourself and say something. Hi. 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 Yes. Hi there, yeah, that's a bit better. That's great. Well, would you like to get started reading high stakes? So, uh, you know, we found one word, so please read high stakes. High stakes. Few people in a world of high... This one has been done. This one is C, you see. Uh, finance, high finance. Because high banking, high investment is not good, but high finance. Uh -huh. Okay, of high finance had heard of Mark Colombo. And now, there was yeah, no what? No what? Uh, so the choices we've posted there: no cause, no purpose, no basis, no reason. Hi there, Mario. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you back. Hi, uh, Lynn. How are Hi you? There. Yeah, I've had a few problems this morning. Um, yes, I, get, I saw that. Couldn't get yeah. my connection going at all into um, the Hangout and get it started. I don't know why. But we'll run for an hour. Uh, 
and you know because I don't have a following class, so we'll run for an hour and do okay. this one fully. We're looking at uh, missing words, and right now Rose is reading and trying to figure out the second one. Uh, sorry, that well, it's the first one really because the first one was zero. So the first one that we have to do is number one. So Rose, read that sentence again, please. Rose, can, uh, there can you was no yeah. blank. Yeah. Yeah. There was no blank why they should have done. Uh, what's the choice again? The choice, um, let me see if I've got it on my um, cut and paste there. Yes, I have. There we have four words. Can you see? Um, I can show you the, my. The, the choice is on the screen there as well. Can you see the choice? Money, invest, ah, this one, cause, purpose, basis, and reason. Yes, yeah, so cause, uh, cause, purpose, basis, and reason we're looking for. Which ones of those, um, which fit? There was no reason. Um, sounds good. That sounds pretty good, actually. I think you might be on the right tracks there. There was no reason. I'm just going to check the others. There was no cause why they should have done. No, it's not good. No purpose to it. Um, no purpose. We don't have purpose why. Yeah, you're right then. So we'll go with that one. So let's write that one down. One will be a reason. No reason why. So can you read on a bit more? He was a mere foreign exchange bank at the Lloyds Bank in Lugano, Switzerland. So let's have a look at the choices there. So the choices I have there, um, four words here. Um, I'll post them into the chat. So those four words we can have for this one. Um, do you know the word Mia, by the way? Mia, M-E-R-E. -E. When do we use this word, Mia? Mir, uh, little. It is a bit little, yes, but it's a special kind of little. Because it, it it's a little in a special way. I mean, when we say, I won a mere ten pence, it means that it's small, much less than I really wanted. A, a bit like saying, I have little milk left. Um, or a few people turned up instead of a few. It means I could have expected more. So he was a mere foreign exchange. So he's not one of the top bosses. Foreign exchange what? Mm -hmm. What should we go for here? A foreign exchange. Um, sorry, I cannot see the choices. I've posted them in the Verbling chat too, so if you could have a look at the Verbling chat too, that might be good, because I don't want to be away from the text all the time. The choices are dealer, salesman, merchant, or retailer. Dealer, salesman, merchant, retailer. You, we can all speak about it, so um, Mario, if you have any ideas, you can just say as well, because there's only a small room today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, uh, uh, dealer. Uh, I You're going for dealer. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Are you happy with dealer, Rose? I am. I'm happy with dealer. So that seems to be a good mm -hmm. choice. So let's write down uh, in the verbling chat. Let's do this all in the verbling chat. So foreign exchange dealer. Foreign. Um, How can you go to the? Um, well, do you see on the left of your hangout some different options? Yeah, I just I'll and have your chat. One of, yeah, one of them will switch the verbling chat on. Yeah, your sound is much better now. That's great. So. Can you see the verbling chat now? 
I turned it on. Mine comes on automatically, actually, because I have it on each time. So I don't need to do anything to get it. But some people have to switch it on. And... Um, there's different buttons to click to get different chats on the right. And if you click on the one which has the verbling icon, you get the verbling chat. No? No. Okay, well then, mm, we'll have another look at it. Have you got on your screen three columns? Have you got the main hangout in the middle and then something on the left and something on the right? Because you might be looking at the Google chat. Do you see the Google chat? Okay. Google chat. What do you see um, on the right? Uh, well, uh, wait, I think... Okay, I see it now. Good. So now you can write in there. Say something in the chat. Just write hello, hi, or something. Mm. <laughs> uh, hi. I can actually um, post the whole text into the verbling chat like this. See? Can you see the whole chat now? The whole uh, no, I think paragraph. There's, an, uh, there's error. Yeah, we've had a few problems today. So I think that we'll just try and do our best by looking at the web page and working on it. Because okay. I had a few problems today as well. I couldn't get it started for a long time. Um, I've noticed recently that sometimes my hangouts take about two or three minutes to start. But today I just couldn't get it started. But my computer is not too much of a problem. Anyway, let's go back to business then. So I like your choice, Mario. Um, Abdullah, hi, you're in the room too. Are you on the mic, Abdullah? Okay, well, we can all speak on the mic because it's a nice quiet room. So um, let's go and ask Mario to read on to the next sentence. You've, so Mario, you've got the uh, foreign exchange dealer. Mm -hmm. We'll try and remember the answers because then we, later we will try to re, just read through remembering. So remember the answer to number one, there was no reason why they should have done. It was a mere foreign exchange dealer at the Lloyds Bank in Lungano, uh, Switzerland. So read on. Okay. Um, the the Lloyds Bank, uh, Colombo. Um, I don't have the. Yeah. I'm going to. So leave. we need the choices there. Uh, actually, we, we can do it without choices, but let's get the choices. Um, sometimes you can see a word that might go there. Here are the choices for three. Mm -hmm. So I'll post those. Lots of clicking and posting with this exercise. So maybe I should change this page for for use in Hangouts to keep everything together. Okay. So there are your four choices. What do you reckon? Um, Colombo... Hit... Hit the headlines. What do we think, Rose? Do you, th do you like hit the headlines? Hit... Uh, you don't sound too confident, Mario. No, no, <laughs> I don't. But I'm confident in you. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a good answer to okay. hit the headlines. It okay. first hit the headlines, so this is a good collocation, a good expression to hit the headlines. Okay. We don't really beat the headlines or strike the headlines, so hit the headlines, that's good. Okay. Uh, back to Rose now. Can you read on from hit the headlines around the world? Um, but in 1974, Colombo hit the headlines around the world, leaving... Um, I, I need to get the choices for you. Uh, and yeah, then you yes, can read I, it again. I have the choices already. Uh, living... What's Blank... Um, 
living um non experts at open note in amazement. My food you're going for retailer. Which one is that you're going for retailer? You mean instead of dealer? A foreign exchange retailer? A retailer is somebody who works in the shop usually. Somebody like um Woolworths before they went bang a bust. That was a sad day. Um, Still thinking, Rose. <laughs> yeah, have a thing. I don't think, I'm not sure. Hard. So, hard but in 1974, Colombo hit the headlines around the world, leaving money experts. What do we want to say about them? Hard hearted, hard headed, hard pressed, hard hitting? Uh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I can't get get any clue from the from the. Uh, any idea, the Mario? Yes, I think it's uh, hard pressed, money expert. If you're hard pressed, that might that might mean um, that you are under pressure in some yeah. way. So um. So it, you know, if you're hard pressed. For example, let's try to make a sentence with hard pressed. So, um, I was hard pressed to do that. I didn't really have enough time. So, I don't think hard pressed is really suitable for the situation here. Okay. I think we need an adjective to describe, because hard pressed um, describes some situation which you might be in you might be struggling mm, okay, uh, I understand. so something like that so here we want something more generally suitable for businessmen and finances now is it heart. head or heart hard hitting is people maybe who have chat shows or something like that and they don't care what they say and they, they will be hard hitting okay. with their questions hard headed I go with that hard headed, yeah, I think so. It makes a lot of sense here. Hard headed. So let's read on a bit more then, Mario. Okay. Um, where are we on the text again? So um, that was number four. Hard headed money experts. Read okay. on from four. Okay. Hard headed money expert, uh, open mouthed. In amazement. Um, when you say open mouthed, that's a bit like um, jaw dropping okay. from a previous um, ex lesson. But the pronunciation of mouthed is quite soft at the end, not mouthed, but mouthed. 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 Yeah. Mouthed. <laughs> like mouthed. That. Yeah. If you think about it, it gets a bit tricky. But uh, it's like that. It's just a vd. mouthed. 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 There's a kind of the th sound like mouth, okay, uh, and like, and then a d mouthed, open mouthed in amazement, open mouthed in amazement. Okay. Yeah, some English pronunciation um, sounds trickier when you think about it too hmm. much. Um, it's best to just try to copy some of it without trying to think too much because when I slow down on that ending mouthed it sounds even quite difficult for me to do but yeah. when you read it quickly through uh, open mouthed in amazement it joins in and it blends in and it the the dirt just goes with the din mm -hmm. open mouthed in amazement so it joins up quite well like that so next sentence then I'll go and get the uh, choices into, onto the screen here. So the next sentence, five. There we are. And then um, post them into the verbling chat.
Abdullah has got an answer, he thinks. Uh, let's see if we can agree with that one. We've got announced, publicized, broadcasted, divulged. We divulge information to our best friends, maybe, or to certain people, maybe. It's like um, letting people know. Which word is best here? Uh, announce seems to be good. It does seem good to me, yes. I think it does work well. But, uh, uh, divul how do you say that, that word? Divulged. Di divulged. 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 It's about the same um, meaning. I think so. that divulged is a bit strange for this situation, though, because I think um, they if you divulge something, you probably you let reveal. people know. Um, you just tell them it will let, let people know. You don't... So what's mm. the difference between announce and divulge? Yes, uh, divulge may be something uh, hidden, uh, supposed to be hidden, and uh, you just... Uh, leaking the information yeah you're kind of just letting people see you're letting people know but um, if you announce you're telling them you here it is come on look, here it is yeah. so I think announce works much better now okay so let's go to um, Rose Rose could you read with announced so we'll read five with announced and I will go and get the choices for the number six onto the screen so the choices for number six, we've got some interesting words. Maybe first of all we should look at these words because uh, they might be new. We've got swaying, shaking, staggering, wobbling. Mm -hmm. um, Lloyd, Lloyd's announced that ir irregularities had caused the bank um, staggering. To 32 million. Yeah, there's a little space there. I don't know why, but uh, so that sounded good. You said Lloyd's announced that irregularities had cost the bank a staggering 32 million. Staggering um, is good here. Staggering is great. A good word for this kind of. Oh my goodness! You know, uh, staggering literally. Do you know what literally staggering is? Um, if you are if you are staggering, this is a kind of verb, but here it's an adjective. But if it's a verb and you are staggering along down the street, or staggering, what are you doing? Um, swaying. Um, uh, a, a drunk man might be staggering. He can't quite stand properly on his feet. Um, unbalanced. Yes. So you hear you have a massive, great, big shock. Like, my goodness, we've just lost 32 million. And imagine the boss is just, oh no, like this, and he's just rocked. So, um, wobbling is a bit like a jelly does on a plate, or a duck's bottom, or something like that. Shaking is something you do out of fear, <laughs> like this. So, I think staggering is a really great word there. A staggering 32 million. I don't think we need amount. It it was a, a staggering amount, but a, a staggering thirty-two million is fine. That's good. Um, so that's a good choice. We've got all of the choices. This isn't such a difficult exercise as I thought it would be. Maha, are you on, in the room on the mic? Uh, yeah. Um, great. Do you have you been following so far? Uh, no, I just come now. Well, uh, if you like, I'll read the, what we've done so far. We've done up to number five, uh, six there. And I'll remind you of the answers and then ask you to remember them. So I'm going to read up to number six. See if you can remember the answers that we've found and then repeat see if you can so pay attention and see if you can remember the answers and if you don't agree if you don't agree with any then you can try to think of them again or um, 
you know, think about your answers, but the answers we have so far, few okay. people in the world of high finance had heard of Mark Colombo. There was no reason why they should have done. He was a mere foreign exchange dealer at the Lloyds Bank in Lugano, Switzerland. But in 1974, Colombo hit the headlines around the world, leaving hard-headed money experts open-mouthed in amazement. Lloyds announced that irregularities had cost the bank a staggering 32 million. That's where we are, up to there. So can you remember those gaps and try to read it? Yeah. Uh... A staggering. A staggering thirty-two million. Could you go back to there was no? Uh, could you go go to the top and read it through to to there? Is that okay? Uh, read the, all the read, sentence. Read that paragraph again and repeat the reading. Uh, so go to where it starts at the top. Few people. Okay, few people in the world of. Uh, Hi. Uh, hi, C. Finance, that was. Okay, I had uh, heard of Mark uh, Colombo. There when, was you say, a... when you say heard, can you try not to say it like a chair? Not heard, but heard. It sounds like a bird. Heard. Few people had heard of Mark Colombo. Hmm? Okay, uh, had heard of uh, Mark Colombo. There was uh, there was no uh, no no why they should have uh, done. Uh, he was a mere foreign exchange. Yeah, that's foreign, 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 foreign. Yes. Okay, foreign exchange uh, at the Lloyd's Bank Lloyd. in uh, Lloyd's is a big bank. Uh, very big in insurance, in world insurance. They insure the big things like um, the Titanic or big buildings and, uh, you know, when there's a terrorist attack or something, Lloyd's sometimes have to pay out a lot of money. So, uh, Lloyd's Bank. Lloyd's Bank in uh, Lugno, uh, Switzerland. But in 1974, it uh Open, uh, You've missed a line, but in 1974, Colombo oh, hit, yeah. hits Col the headlines. Uh, the headlines uh, around uh, the world uh, living. The money experts, ex, uh, experts uh, open mouthed in. Yeah, and I, I open mouthed, not mouthed, open. but open mouthed in amazement. Open mouthed in a uh, amazing right that uh, irregularities 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 had cost uh, the bank uh, a strategy to millions uh, three. staggering yeah okay staggering. now try to find the next one so what had the 28 year old colombo been what is that word um, I don't remember. Well, I didn't say it, so you don't know. Nobody knows yet. It means something about uh, what had he been doing. You know, he'd been doing some very bad things. He'd lost the bank a lot of money. A staggering 32 million. What had the 28-year-old Colombo been? So we need a phrasal verb. Been something to. And it means to do something. Back up or... Get up or back up? Um, doesn't sound too great. Let's think about it. Anybody else? Any ideas there for number seven? We're looking for a phrasal verb, it looks like. Been, uh, um. What have you been doing? What have you been boom boom? Phrasal verb. Let me see if I can find the phrasal verb in the dictionary. 
So I'm going to open my dictionary now online and see if I can find this phrasal verb. Yeah, so I found it. There's quite a few of, of these combinations, but I found a link here in my online dictionary which explains this phrasal verb. Up to? Been yeah, you found it too. That's good. Up to. Here it is. Um, so I've, I've got a definition here. To be doing something, often said something bad or illegal. If I say that with my children, I think they've been naughty. I say, what have you been up to? You know, okay. somebody's complaining. What have you been up to? Um, she's up to no good. She's up to no good. You can always tell because she stays in her room when she's been up to no good. He looks very suspicious hanging around the bins. I'm sure he's up to something. Up to. Yeah. So there we are. That's up to. Um, and how had he got? I think this means the last one is uh, why didn't anybody catch him? It went on for a long time and nobody caught him. I'm running this lesson for another until half past because it was late starting and I don't have another lesson right now so I'll stay here I've posted another dictionary link Um, and how did he get, get get away with it? That's the one. Get to, to get away with it. He got away with it. He got away. They used to say um, in the old days, "scot free," but I think we don't speak about Scottish people getting away with things now. And um, so to get away with it. So actually there's phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are not usually formal. So this report is not in a very formal style. It's written for us as a kind of shocking piece of news. So we are using some phrasal verbs in text, but when you want to be very serious or formal, you don't use phrasal verbs. If you write a letter to a bank, it's best not to use these words, get away with, and mm. up to, but this is just not um, not colloquial really, but it's it's just neutral. Just some some phrasal verbs are mixed in with other ordinary text. So let's go down and see if we can do the next paragraph now. Rose, are you still there? Yeah, yes, Rose? I'm here. Rose, could you try the next yes. paragraph, then start with Colombo? Colombo? Colombo had been watching the world slitting. And blank changed their values on the foreign exchange market. Um, the world slitting. I need to post the choices there, first of all, don't I? So let me get the choices. Um, I'll post a lot of the choices here. So we've got. Uh... Yes, uh, Colombo had been watching. It's number nine. Number nine. Yes. The world's leading um, monies, rates, accounts, or currencies? Mm. Currencies? That looks quite good, yes. So we'll use that one. So nine, we'll use that one. 
nine currencies, that's good. Change their values, so um, on the foreign exchange markets. And now, Maha, can you try to read on where it says he decided? Yes, yeah. uh, he decided to buy 34 million US dollars with the uh, Swiss francs uh, in uh, three months time. Yes, yeah, so this is something like the futures market. So, but when you say uh, 30, again, it's like herd, it's a bird sound, 30, 30 birds, fur. You are saying some of your bird sounds like a chair. So yours was more like 30, and okay. your herd was like herd. But it's got. So watch out for your uh, chair and your bird. And remember sentences like, Where were you? Where were you? Where is chair? Were is bird. Where were you? Okay, now I'd like you to try and fix up that gap. He decided to buy 34 million US dollars with Swiss francs in three months time. Something called the futures market where you commit yourself to deals in the future. He decided to uh, if as he so number 10 I need to get the choices for number 10 on the screen here. So number 10 choices If as he can you read my choices in the verbling chat? Yeah. Uh, if uh, if he uh, uh, want to no not want to uh, the choices there are expected, contemplated, wondered, considered. Considered or expected? Which one will you choose if you had to choose one word? Expected. And what? Which word would you choose there, uh, Mario? Uh, I'm uh, between uh, expected and considered. That's interesting. Let's think about that then. Um, but first I'll ask Rose. Rose, have you got a choice for number 10? Number 10? So yes. we've got expected, complete, contemplated, wondered or considered. Expected? So we're all going for expected with just the minor point about looking at considered. Let's see if that word has a problem. If, as he considered, it turned out that the dollar was... Um, well, expected is a very good answer. Mm. Um, considered. If, as he considered it... I think yeah. maybe we can use both. I don't think so, but I'm trying to explain why. Um, as he considered it to be, as he considered, um, no, I don't like considered, but I'm finding it difficult to explain why I don't like it. Um, I think some sentences with considered might be like, um, as he considered it to be, or as he considered it might, um, a, a way but, but of thinking, maybe. As he it's, considered, it's, uh, uh, considered a, a way of uh, thinking about something. Uh, expected, it's when you ver you you turn to something. It's it's like it's, expressing your con con opinion in a way, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so as he a, considered it to be like a, a better option. Um, so we think. Yeah. So anyway, expected <laughs> is a very good option there. So that's yeah. the right yeah. choice. So. Um, what do we do for number 11? 
and it turned out that the dollar was I would say worth or let's cost. see what the choices are I've got the choices on the screen here mm, yeah we've got worth worth, worth. And we've got cost and we've got value and charge let's see uh, how they look Worth or cost? Worth cost less than one. Worth. Was less. cost? Well, I don't think we can say was cost less. Was. Worthless. Worthless. Yes, because after was, we need an adjective. Mm. So was. Uh, was worthless. Uh, with. Um, what is the part of speech of worth? Worth. It's not an adjective, is it? What's worth? Let's see. It, it's an adjective, isn't it? Yes, it is. And that's yeah. after the verb to be. Um, so it is worth a lot. It is worth. Yes, so so we you see we have the form there for an adjective, but cost is a noun, I think. Yes. So yeah, it doesn't really fit at all, and um, value is a noun too, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. The value, the value. So really, the there we have to say uh, worth. So the dollar was worth less. Read on a bit there, Mario. Okay. Um, it turned out that the dollars was worth less than the time came to settle. You know, there's an interesting reading problem with pronunciation here because there is a word worthless. Worthless. Yeah, so we have to be careful when we say worthless. Uh, that There's some tricks in English like this. So you have to be careful that you don't confuse people to say uh, to sound like you are saying the dollar was worthless you know without a value is worthless worthless okay so we have to um, be aware of those little things and sometimes when you're learning it's difficult to n anticipate all these little tricks and problems so you have to be make it sound like it's worthless worthless less. probably catch the lure a bit Mm -hmm. You know, don't say less, but worth less. Yes, worth. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> okay, so it, anyway, uh, worth less when the time came to settle. What is this settling? To somebody, uh, something that can be um, installed, um, uh, prepared. Um, There's something called a settlement date. And something can be arranged. Um, it, you pay for things, for example, stocks and shares, and you have to come up with the money. You have to pay for them, not immediately, but there is a date when you have to pay. Okay. And that's the when the time came to settle. In other words, when the time came to pay for all of this. He was hoping to make a handsome profit. Right. So let like, like let me ask you to do the next one, Mario. So, okay. is it a, a kind of deadline when you say that? Yes, a settlement date is a kind of deadline. Yes. Okay. Settlement means then um, you know you have to pay off your debts, settle your debts. The word settle is often used that way. I'm just going to look into the dictionary to see if I can find, if I look up settle, if I can find any kind of um, relationship or anything related to paying bills. Yes, there is one here. Here we have settle five. So settle is a, a word which has a lot of meanings, but settle five in this dictionary, here it is, says uh, to pay money that you owe. Please settle your account without further delay. It took the insurance company months to settle the claim. So, 
That's the word here, settled. Okay. okay. Now I just want you to finish off the last gap then. Okay. Um, he would make a handsome profit, but the Doros value did not. Uh, um, you need the options there, don't you? For 12. I'll put them on the screen. There we've got the options. Okay. Tumbo trip spill topo. But the dollars value did the tumble. Tumble you're going for. Uh, but the dollars value did not tumble. Um, trip, spill, topple. Yeah, t they're, they're all a bit strange. I think I would choose another word entirely here. Something like mm. drop or fall. Yeah. But which one would we choose if we had to choose from this list? I think... Uh, Trip is out. Trip is something when somebody puts their foot out and you trip. Trip over. Uh, spill is something that liquid does. Um, topple is when you lose your position at the top. Okay. So you topple the government or something like that. Mm. And uh, when something has a value going up and down, tumble is better. Oh, I've just... Just before we were going to, to Rose to read the next one, she's disappeared. <laughs> Rose, Rose, if you're still there listening, come back and, and start the next one. So, okay, so tumble I'm going for. Uh, Maha, let's go to you now yeah. for the okay. next section. We're nearly there now. Um, I will get. Can, let, let me just get the uh, words here and then post them in. Okay. Right, so let's hear you read it. Consequently? Consequently, he increased it. Increased? Increased his uh, stake and uh, went for of nothing. Uh, for. Uh, I think that of is actually a mistake, sorry. I think it should be or nothing. There's a typo there. It, it came in electronically and sometimes the letters get changed. That should be something or nothing. Or? Okay. Uh, for uh, twice? Will it be or? twice or nothing? Twice. Uh, pair or yeah. nothing? Um, twofold or nothing? Or double or nothing? Double. Double is good, yes. Sometimes in gambling casinos you, you just say double or quits. Yeah. Double or quits. Yeah. So double is good. Read on then. Okay. Uh, without the uh, lights, uh, anything without lights. Uh, Considering, speculating, suspecting, believing. Maybe believing. Without Lloyd's believing a thing. Any, are, Mario, are you with believing? Uh, no, it, it seems to be a bit uh, tricky. Um, I think they believed it, uh, but well, they didn't know about it, so they couldn't believe it. But when they did finally uh, know about it, they believed it, all right. Oh. But. Okay. At the time, when they didn't know, so if you don't know, then you, there's no question of believing, because you don't know. You can only believe something if you know it. Considering. Without Lloyd's considering a thing, well, they sh maybe they should have considered things later, uh, how they could stop this happening again, but if they didn't know about it, if somebody doesn't know anything, you can mm. say they didn't suspect anything. Yes. They weren't suspicious. They didn't realize anything was going wrong. So without Lloyd suspecting a thing. Right. Mm. Maha, can you continue there? 
Okay, he set up uh, trans uh, transactions totaling for uh, for uh, thousand fifty eighty five eighty million in. Uh, well, yeah, this number is interesting to read because when yeah. I looked at this number, I thought they're speaking billions here. So, but if we if we read it in billions, we have to say four point five eight billion pounds because a thousand million is a billion these days all around the world it has been for years a kind of standard is a, a billion is a thousand million banks set this standard there was a time when um, people in different parts of the world were confused about words like billion but the banks kind of made everybody use a thousand million is a billion and so I can see there are thousands of millions if we read it as billions we have to say 4.8 uh, 4.58 billion pounds if we read it in millions we have to we have to say 4580 million pounds it's a big number oh okay uh, so go on then okay in just uh, 9 months uh, at first, he was uh, betting that uh, the dollar would lose uh, value. When you say lose, try to get a nice ooh sound. Lose. Lose. Yeah, perfect. Uh, lose value. It uh, didn't or did not. Yeah, here I might go for the uncontracted form because um, then you can stress a word like it did not. Okay. You know, you can say something like that or it it did not. Um, I think that's why you say the uncontracted form so that you can say the word not. It did not. I did not do that. So here I can, I think that's why we've got the three words like that. It didn't is a bit, uh, is possible too. But So 15, what have we got? Um, with the last words there, so, moreover, despite, however. However, or no? Uh, yeah, however, is it right? However, he switched the. Uh, switched. Switched uh, to gambling. Sounds good. Yes, I agree. So he switched to gambling that it would go on rising. It did not. Maybe so is better. Mm. What do you think? So um, let's let's try it both ways. Uh, it did not, and um, so he switched to gambling that it would go on rising. It did not. So I think is much better here yeah. because, yeah. however, is um, something like a surprise, but so is like a reason. Hmm. Yeah. The first thing didn't work. You know, try this. It didn't work, so I tried that. So is good. Yeah. Okay. So before we go, um, in five minutes. I'd like to see, Mario, if you can read through the whole lot. So let's see if we can remember the choices we made. And then, um, yeah, so all the way from few people in the world. Okay. Um, few people in the world of high, um, I don't remember that one. Well. Finance. Uh, <laughs> That was finance, I remember. Few uh, people in the world of high finance. Yes, few people in the world of high finance had heard of Mark Colombo. Um, there was no reason why they... Yep, no reason. Yes, no reason why they should have done. He was a mere for a new exchange. A mere, mere. A mere, mere like a mere okay. cat, a mere. Okay, but a mere cat is not just a little cat. <laughs> okay, he was a mere, mere foreign exchange. What? He was mere foreign, foreign exchange dealer. Dealer at the Lloyd's Bank in Lugano. Lu Lugano, 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 Switzerland. Okay, Lugano, so. Switzerland. Okay. Uh, but 
But in 1974, Colombo um, hit the headline. Hit, hit the headline around the world living. Uh, I don't remember that. It word. was hard headed because they're businessmen. Hard they're not uh, emotional, yes. they're not hard hearted, they're hard headed money. Experts. Yes, the, the headline around the world living hard headed money expert open mouthed in amazement. Lloyd. Um, Lloyd um, announced. Announced that irregularities. This stress pattern will be something later in the word like irregularity. Irregularities. Ele Irreg irregularities. I think the la is quite a stressed word syllable. Okay. Irregularities. 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 That sounds had good. Yes. Had cast at the bank a staging. Staggering. St staggering. Staggering. The man who can't stand on his feet properly because he's had this bad news. The stag a staggering 32 million. Yeah. Staggering. Um, uh, three two millions. Thirty two million. Thirty two million pounds. Okay. Pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what had the twenty year? Twenty eight year old. Twenty eight year old Colombo been up to? And how had he got up with it? Got away with it. Oh, it got away with it. Get away with it. Yes. What, is, what have you been up to? You've been getting away with that for too long. Get away with it. Yes. Good. So, Colombo? Colombo has been watching the, wor the worst leading. Uh, that was currencies. Currency change their values on the foreign exchange. And when you say change, you want to get away from the French sound in English, not. Uh, change, but ch a like a change, change, change. Yeah, their values on the foreign exchange markets. And again, exchange markets. Get a nice a a. Okay. Change on the exchange markets. Exchange. Okay. Exchange. Okay. He decided to buy uh, thirty-four million U.S. dollars with. Swiss francs. Dollars. Do dollars. Do dollars. Do dollars. Dollars, yes. Dollars with uh, Swiss, uh, Swiss francs. Swiss francs in three months' time. If has he. Uh, uh, was that anticipated? I don't remember that one now. Let's. Uh, uh, 10, we've got expected. No, uh, expected. Yes. Expected. Expected. Yeah, we don't have anticipated, it's expected. If, as he expected, it turned out that the dollar was. If, as he expected, it turned out that the dollar was uh, worth less than the time came to settle, he would m make uh, a handsome profit. But the dollar's value did not uh, up, uh, uh, did not. Uh, uh, we chose a uh, tumble. I remember. Ah, uh, yeah, tumble. Because the others don't work at all. Topple is the second one, but it, it's not good because toppling is some one thing off the top. Mm. So that's why we went tumble because that's fall down. Okay. Uh, but the dollar's value did not t tumble. It went up, and Colombo lost one million pounds. Uh, con consequently, consequently, he increased his stakes and went for. That's uh, or nothing. Um, double or nothing. That was, wasn't it? Double or quits. He tried to gamble of nothing. Yes. Sometimes they we say that these people are gambling and they're trying to recoup their losses, um, or cover themselves. And this is often the story. That there's stories of other stories like this. There was the famous Nick Leeson Bearings Bank case. I don't know if you've heard about that. 
mm -hmm. British banker, uh, a trader, working for the Barings Bank in Asia, took them right out of business. Unfortunately, I don't know how it can be allowed. It, maybe the banks should watch out for these things and set up better regulation. Okay, without. Without Lloyd's. Um, considering, consider speculating. No, it's not considering. It's um, speculating, S suspecting, believing. Suspecting. That's the one. Yes. Lloyd suspecting a thing. He set up transaction totaling uh, 4,580 million in just nine months. That would um, that would sort me out at the supermarket for a few weeks. That money. Mm. <laughs> yeah. At first, it, he was betting that the dollar uh, would lose value. Would lose value. Would lose value. It did not. It did not. Uh, the last one was. Uh, so. So yeah, and and the so, so is good here because so. Yeah explains the reason for his actions. Yes. So he switched to, to gambling that it would go on rising. It did not. Yeah. <laughs> right, thank, thanks very much for waiting for me today. I, I had a little problem getting in and it was great to do that exercise. That was nice. You're always, um, you're always quite cool, um, Mario, and uh, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. So See you it, was, um, it was very interesting. Also. Yeah, I like these kind of exercises, especially when the words it's, are. It's, quite it's very close. difficult, but it's uh, it's it's uh, it's also great for the for the old results we can. Yeah. Okay, that was great. So yeah. see you on Monday probably because I'm going to be off for the weekend. Okay. See you later. Okay. Thank see you. you. See you, um, see you. Maha, as well. Thank you for coming. See you. Have a nice.